This is known as a CRT monitor. Almost nobody still uses them anymore. They're very outdated. someone willing to vouch for you? If not, get out of my shop. Moolah? That guy's a hoot. Keeps out the riffraff and fakers, too. But seriously, where did you hear about me? Charlie? Yeah. I remember him. That TV guy runs his mouth a lot. Yeah. Paid good enough. All right, then. What can I do for you? Sure, if that's what you want to call me. If your credit's clear, you can call me whatever you want. Enough foreplay. What can I do for you? A fresh install, custom firmware, maybe an upgrade. I can pretty much do it all. But most people come in here for VR implants. Turns out brain surgery is expensive, yeah? We're in a bad situation. Local news articles are being mysteriously altered after they've been posted to the mesh, even while the originals are still online. Charlie Novas are being manipulated as well, and he pointed us in your direction. It didn't start happening until after he had his implant upgraded. What are you, cops? No, worse. You're journalists. Get the hell out of my shop! I have a business to run. I don't have time to answer shit about shit that don't got shit to do with me. You found the door before? Find it again. And tell Charlie he can get someone else to do him a rush job when he's back on stims and needs a workaround. He ain't welcome around here anymore. Give us a moment, please. I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired of being given the runaround by these meat bags. We could just find some bribe or blackmail to get what we want from this Nanya. But I think it's time to take matters into our own hands. I have an idea. Keep him occupied for a few minutes. Just do what you normally do and ask questions. Nothing about the blog post, though. We don't want to set him off. Just keep him talking. It'll only take a minute. Are you gonna get going, or am I gonna have to call someone to make you get going? Damn straight. Now get out of here! I didn't! We were just hoping to get some more background information on the kind of implant he has so we can follow other leads. Shit. Fine. Whatever. I'll tell you what you want. Within reason. Doctor-patient confidentiality and all that. Just promise me it'll get you the hell out of my shop a little sooner. Deal. Sorry for this. Our circumstances have gotten serious. We're following anything we can all the way to the end. There's no way to hack a VR implant like Charlie's. I mean, you can definitely install hostile firmware on one, but you can't just load whatever program you want without the user's knowledge. 
Any changes to the loaded firmware will trigger some really obvious visual indicators to let you know something's being changed, and those are put in on the hardware level. I've never heard of anyone being able to circumvent them. The only person who could have loaded hostile firmware on there is me. And don't try and go there. I get paid too much to risk my reputation over changing a few blog posts. What about using the mesh to mess with the implant? Is there some way to change the input remotely? No, the implant itself doesn't have any kind of wireless connection. You have to use a headset with an induction coil for I.O. Wireless just doesn't have the bandwidth for it. You might be able to try infecting a ROM with some virus that screws with the I.O., but you only use a connection to a ROM for AR hugs. They can't handle full simulation. You'd need a full rig and a hardline connection to the net to do that. So... I'd give it a big maybe. If that's actually how it all happened, they probably would have found whatever infected is ROM way before you showed up here to bother me. Could it have just been faulty parts? Not to be too blunt about it, but this field of expertise is a little disreputable. Maybe your supplier sent you an implant with something fishy preloaded. Damn it. Look, I get it. I'm working out of an old auto garage on the bad side of town. But I'm a fully licensed cyber surgery tech. This entire business is legitimate. It isn't illegal to install custom parts or firmware in any current generation implants. It just breaks the warranty. My business keeps a low profile, so we don't run into bogus patent infringement lawsuits from Flower Cybernetics or whatever shell company they decide to come after you with. All of my parts are sourced direct from the original manufacturer, completely above board. So if they're bad, they were built bad by the factory. Now, is that all? I have appointments to keep. Yeah, whatever. I've done nothing wrong. Are we done? Stop unless you want to get charged for a dynamo. tuned scent of electromagnetic fields, all ROMs do. We need to be able to maintain optical contact with the mesh, catalog and use various wireless transmissions, and avoid areas with dangerously high interference. Your stock off-the-shelf ROM has very little command over the frequencies available to be scanned. But I'm starting to realize how very little of me is stock or off-the-shelf after the changes Hayden made. 
That means when the humidity is low, the air fairly sings for me, amongst other things. Meaning, in layman's terms, I could read his monitor over his shoulder while being across the room. Well, some. I doubt I could have handled an LCD monitor. They require extra parts I just don't have. And the fidelity is a bit low. Anyways, Nanya looked up his client records on Charlie, and I got some of the names of his other customers off of the spreadsheet. One in particular stands out, Shotaro Otsuka. As if everything else in this wild goose chase hasn't been. Mr. Otsuka is a moderately prominent tech blogger, respected, perhaps a bit vitriolic. He catches my attention though because historically he has been very critical of Parallax in his posts. Recently, though, the tone has been increasingly moderate, and now he is almost effusive in his praise. His fans are accusing him of shilling for the company, but many of his earliest posts show some of the same manipulations that we saw from Augmented Eye and Nova's blog. Now it's like he's being ghostwritten entirely. Couldn't hurt to check, right? I've marked the location of Shotaro Otsuka's apartment on your map. After you. 